Hello everybody, this is Raven8685, and today I want to bring you a Let's Play of Dragon Warrior. This is one of those classic Nintendo turn-based RPGs. The reason I want to do this is not because it hasn't been done, because we all know this has been done on YouTube several times, because I really enjoy this game. And like I said, I grew up on this game. This game was put out by Enix in 1986. Let's think, I was, I was born in 85, so... Like, this game came out when I was one, and I had it by the time I was three, because I had my Nintendo by then, and, uh, I've beaten this game countless times, and you know what, it's still fun. The only thing I can say negatively about this game is, man, dude, I hope you enjoy grinding, because there is a ton of it in this game. So, without further delay, let's get started. Let's see here, let's... Wow, oops. That was my test game. Alright, so let's begin a new quest. What name do we want? Um... Huh. You know, I hadn't put much thought into this before I uh, started this. Let's go with the classic... Let's go with Lodo. That sounds fun, right? There is a reason for that name, by the way, and the reason being, uh, because that's the name of the hero in the Game Boy version, which I've never played. I just read that on Wiki when I was trying to get the background for this information. Or, God, I can't talk, man. I just read that while I was getting the background story for this game. So anyway, a uh, little bit of information I will not show too much grinding. The amount of grinding I do versus the amount that's on camera will be a whole different story. But I will give you the what the stats for what I grinded to. Uh, without much more delay, let's get started. So, apparently you're a descendant of Erdrick. 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 Also known as Lodo, by the way. Is it known as Lodo? I don't remember. I think so. Okay. Erdrick fought demons with a ball of light. I don't remember that, but okay. Who stole that precious globe and hid it in the darkness. By the way, this might be the first time I've ever actually read this. <laughs> I hate to admit that, but yeah. Thou must help us recover the ball of light and restore peace to our land. That's cool. Dragmord must be defeated. Aid in thy quest. Speak with my guards. They have much knowledge. I don't know that I've ever talked to the guards either. You know what? I might do some of that stuff in this let's play just to do it. Alright. I've heard... I think it was this game I heard about. That dependent on your name... Uh, will depend your level up stats. I don't know if that's true. I've never tested it. But just for the sake of it, I figured I'd mention it because I have heard that. Oops, that just hit take. I'm gonna take the stairs. That's a cool idea. I mean, literally, I'm gonna take the stairs. It's cool. Hey, buddy, let's talk. King Loric. Yeah, that's true. When you go to save your game, you talk to the king. Let's talk to the females. We all enjoy talking to the females, right? Well, let me tell you, she's in the swamp cave. Good luck. See a dude over there? This dude down here? He's your buddy, okay? When you get injured, and you're too cheap to go to the inn, he restores your magic just talking to him. Now, we don't have any magic right now, but if we did, he would have just restored it. So, if, if you're playing and you're being cheap, well then, it don't get cheaper than that. So that was Tantagel Castle, I believe is the name of it. I can't remember the name of this city. Maybe this dude will tell me. Breconary. Cool. So Breconary, I'm gonna swing up here. We talk to this dude. He's gonna give me some stuff. There are a lot of different philosophies here for what to buy. 
got 120 gold. Do not, for the love of Christ, do not buy the bamboo pole. It's absolutely worthless. But you can buy armor. Or you can buy, like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy this here club. And I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna grind for 10 gold and I'm gonna buy that leather armor. That's how I roll. But you, if you really wanted to, you could buy that bamboo pole and leather armor off the bat, or you could... I don't really know, but those are your, pretty much your options. Do, do whatever. I'm going with the club. You know one thing I always liked about this game? It shows the weapon in his hand. You know, hardly any games change your model at all. But this one did. I really liked that. I surely do not have proof. I don't need proof. I don't need to prove shit to you, buddy. Anyway, this is the um, item shop down here. When you get the money, swing down here and uh, buy that. Oh, I guess I can buy the dragon scale. You know what? Let's do that. The reason you buy that dragon scale is because... Look at your stats. Look at that defense power. It's three right now. Okay. So we're going to go and we're going to equip the dragon scale. And it should be five now. Yep. Cheap armor right there. I don't usually... Do I, did I get a torch? I think I did. What the game wants you to do right now is actually to swing up to Erdrick's cave. I don't really like doing that. Oops. Wrong button. So... I'm not going to. Yet. I'll do it in the next video. I promise. So what you're gonna do... And I'm going to end this video by saying this, because again, I don't want to necessarily show too much grinding. But you're just going to fight around in this area until you get enough money for your leather armor. After we get leather armor, maybe a level or two, swing up. Actually, you know what? I'll grind to the level two, just to show you a level. But once you get enough money for that leather armor, we'll then go up to the ca our Erdrick's cave. Want to know something else I find incredibly amusing about this game? Of course you do. You wouldn't be watching if you didn't want to know. Right? That castle down there, surrounded by that black stuff. That's the Dragon Lord's castle. That's where the game ends. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so you shouldn't need too much experience to get to level 2. And again, I know watching me grind is boring because I'm here to tell you grinding is not exactly my... My, you know, I don't have too much fun grinding. If you want to ever know how much experience you need to get to level whatever, the king will tell you. Uh, I believe it's seven for level two. Well, keep in mind, it's been a minute since I played through this game. <laughs> I actually, the last time I played through it, I jailbroke my iPhone and was playing it on my iPhone at work in the break room. Yeah, model employee I am. So, but then I uh, then I updated my iPhone, lost my jailbreak, and lost my game. So that's one of the reasons. The other reasons I wanted to do this let's play is because you can't leave off like that. You can't start this game and not finish it. You gotta finish this game, man. It's a good game. It's fun. I like this game. I was right. It was seven. Promoted to the next level. Yeah. Power increased by one hit point seven. Now seven hit points is big at this point in the game. Of course, no magic, which sucks. So anyway, I'm gonna grind some more. Um maybe maybe start rendering this video, get it uploaded. But you know, thanks for watching. And during part two, when I get, you know, decently maybe level three in leather armor. I will go up to Erdrick's Cave, which I cannot remember the layout for, so you'll have to bear with me. Maybe I'll get a map before I go up there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you next video. Again, this is Raven8685.